We've got on the stage right now a DIY toolkit, making the classroom fun. a confused teacher, too many resources, and when I was looking for instruction materials for math and science until I found the DIY Teacher Toolkit. Funded by Google, thank you Google. <laughs> uh, our product is organized very simply into three different sections and by grade. So all you do is click on the grade level you're looking for, skills, resources, and incentives to come back. Skills? The key to the power of the toolkit is content and searching. The teacher searches by skill set or by objective and finds a two-minute video that is perfectly perfect for the classroom, showing reading or arithmetic skills and aligned with Common Core. The videos are teacher developed, teacher selected, and teacher rated. For example, a teacher might be searching for a lesson on sequencing, numeracy, and reading all combined. Teacher? And my goodness, six months ago I was looking for a lesson and I found Storyball, a lesson that teaches sequencing and ordering. And in no time you'll be clicking the resources button where you'll find more resources uh, for your activity. If you want to add content to this activity, you'll find how to do that as well. You'll also be connected to blogs in which teachers have commented on this activity and how it affected their classroom. Lastly, you'll be clicking the incentives button, and it's a way to earn points to spend on donors' shoes and other educational websites. DIY Toolkit makes kinesthetic learning accessible, easy, and free. Students, are you ready? Get you to introduce yourself. Yeah, I'm Casey Eckhart from New Orleans, Louisiana. Are you a teacher? I definitely am. And it seems like one of the big themes that's sort of bubbling up is uh, I mean, that there's a lot of information out there, just hard to figure out how to find it. Uh, have you had experience that, of that in your classroom? And can you tell us about it? Right there, I mean, teachers in the room, hands. Yeah, SNAP, if there are a million resources already out there. Right, SNAP, you have no time to access them because you're busy doing a million other things. Right, so really we wanted to create a product that fit that small corner. We want student-centered classrooms. We want students to be moving in a classroom and using kinesthetics and other things. And as teachers, we want to be able to just get to it, know that it's good material, access it quickly, and use it. Great, thank you so much. Thank you. 